What can we learn about the brevity of some of these books? I didn't expect to love Jerem, and I have ended up loving Jerem. And I think maybe he's thinking about that promise that Enos received. So in verse 16, Enos says, I had faith and I did cry unto God that he would preserve the records, and he covenanted with me that he would bring them forth unto the Lamanites in his own due time. And so this is the promise that his father received, and he's counting on it, right? He's expecting this to happen, and they're waiting for this promise to be fulfilled. In some respects, I feel like that's kind of the way that we're waiting for the second coming now, so we can talk about that in a minute. But what it means is he says, I'm just writing a little because we have to make these plates last. They have to be passed down generation wow, to generation so cool. until they can fulfill this prophecy. By the time we get to Omni, Malachi says, and the plates are full. It sounds like there's not a lot of room left, right? And so he's, he, he says specifically in verse two, wherefore it must needs be that I write a little, but I shall not write the things of my prophesying nor of my revelations. For what could I write more than my fathers have written? Hmm. And that really stopped me when I was thinking about it, because if I had been thinking about Jerem as kind of a slacker, you know, he didn't write very much. He says, I'm not going to write my prophecies and revelations. It doesn't mean he didn't have them. Yeah. He just says, that's not what's needed here. What's needed is for him to maybe take a little bit of a back seat, kind of John the Baptist, you know, he must increase and I must decrease yeah. and let the plates fulfill their purpose. Mm -hmm. 